Hello everybody, my name is Carl and welcome to another Ubuntu Server 14.04 tutorial. Uh, today I have another viewer request which was uh, how to set up an ARC Survival Evolved server on Ubuntu Server. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is open up your favorite terminal program and log in. And as always, we always want to start by running an update. So sudo apt-get update. Next, uh, if we're running a 64-bit installation, we'll need to install a 32-bit library for SteamCMD. 32-bit uh, users do not need to do this. sudo apt git install lib32 gcc1. Now we'll need to install screen, so sudo apt-git install screen. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and start uh, getting the Steam CMD uh, installation going. So we need to make a new directory called Steam CMD. So sudo mkdir space Steam CMD. Now we go ahead and change to that new directory. So cd Steam CMD. Uh, now we want to download the actual application. So sudo wget http colon forward slash forward slash media.steampowered.com forward slash installer forward slash steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz do a quick ls to verify that it installed sudo tar space dash x v z f Steam CMD underscore Linux dot TAR dot GZ. All right, next let's go ahead and start Steam CMD. So sudo forward or sudo space uh, period forward slash Steam CMD dot SH. And we can go ahead and log in as anonymous. So log in anonymous. Now we want to set the force install directory. So force underscore install underscore dir. And I'm going to go ahead and make mine just a period period forward slash arc, just for the sake of uh, simplicity. Then we'll need to run the actual install. So app underscore update 376030 and then validate. Uh, this is going to take some time depending on your internet speed, uh, so just be patient uh, as it uh, downloads. Uh, you may notice that the uh, application may fail to download completely because of the size. Uh, if you do run into an error, uh, just simply run the app update command again. So app underscore update uh, 376030 validate and uh, it will pick up where it left off. Awesome, when you see success, app 376030 is fully installed. We can go ahead and run the quick command to exit out of Steam CMD. Go ahead and do a CD forward slash, period, period, forward slash, just to back up and uh, do a quick LS. And then you should see an ARC directory now there. So we go uh, CD ARK and do an LS, and then we'll see um, all of our server files there. Uh, next we want to do is go ahead and set up a startup script. So sudo vim startup.sh and go ahead and press insert to start typing. Uh, this one's kind of a long command so just kind of follow along. You're going to do a period forward slash uh, shooter game with a capital S capital G 
oops, uh, forward slash binaries with a capital B, forward slash Linux with a capital L, forward slash shooter game server with a capital S, G, and S. Space, the, the island, capital T, capital I. Question mark, listen. Question mark, session name, capital S, capital N. Equals, and then this is going to be your server name. I'm going to call mine how to arc. I'm going to do question mark. Server password, capital S, capital P. Equals, I'm gonna call my password, and that's just your server password. Then question mark, server admin password, capital S, capital A, capital P. I'm gonna call my admin pass, uh, space, dash, server, space, dash log uh, once you're uh, happy with uh, with your uh, session names and server uh, password and administrator password we go ahead and press escape colon WQ for right quit uh, we go do an LS you'll see your your startup script sh it's in white we'll need to give it control uh, or change the permissions on it so do a sudo space chmod plus x startup.sh if you ls again you'll see that it's green and we have permission to execute it uh, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, open up a screen so sudo screen negative s capital s i'm going to go ahead and call it arc go ahead and launch the startup script so sudo period forward slash startup.sh And uh, as soon as you see setting brake pad mini dump app ID, uh, the server is now up and online. Uh, we can go ahead and detach from our server or our screen now by clicking or sorry, pressing control AD on the keyboard. And then we can reattach to the screen by typing in sudo screen negative R A R K, just like so. Uh, the only other thing that you'll need to worry about is that there are three ports you'll need to forward if you're running this uh, inside your home network here. Uh, that is uh, 27015 UDP, 7777 UDP, and 32330 TCP. Um, and that's it, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, sure, leave me a like. If you want to see more videos in the future, subscribe. This was a user-requested video. And um, as always, there will be a, um, a link in the description to the Google Doc that I have. And I'll, I'll try to keep that doc updated as, ver as new versions come out. But uh, no promises on that. And uh, anyway, guys, if you have a future, uh, if, you have, if you have an idea for a video that you'd like me to try to do for you, uh, leave it in the comment section and I'll see what I can get done. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next one.